All right, here is our clinic in building B. We also have a clinic in building A. At our school, we have three doctors and four nurses that work full time. Each and every day students are here. So as you come, as you come into the clinic, here are our lovely nurses. We also have um, uh, resting rooms for our female students, as well as our male students and something that we're very proud of having is our AED, which we have three in total on campus, okay? Additionally, on each of our school buses and in 12 locations around the school, we have first aid kits. So as it's summer holidays, we're replenishing and re uh, refurbishing each of the first aid kits for all of our trips and excursions and on all of our buses. All right, this is our uh, quarantine room uh, for any communicable condition here at AISVN. Uh, we've had this in place and it certainly came in handy during COVID-19 school closure time and when we return to school. In our quarantine room, we have a, a UV light that's set up all the time. We have fans installed as well as windows are always kept open and we have a seating area, resting area for the students. And also I'd like to point out that the room is sealed as well as the vents and air conditioning system is sealed. Welcome to our canteen in building B. We also have a canteen in building A. Each of the canteens will serve over 600 students and over 200 staff each and every day. This is our seating area for all of the students. Uh, here is our food servicing area. We use a company called the Caterers as our service provider for this year, and they've been working with us for six years. Um, we ensure that they have all of the food and hygiene licenses and documents in order, as well as we keep food samples in our freezer so that in case anything happens over time, uh, over the 14 days, we can test it and ensure that uh, everything is in order in the food preparation side. The trays are, are um, prepared by the canteen uh, company each day and each meal. And also we ensure that the portion sizes for our early years, our elementary and our secondary are appropriate for their uh, age groups. So each day the canteen will prepare the trays. Um, we have fruits and vegetables, as well as carbohydrates, as well as protein and a soup to ensure that the students have a well-balanced diet. Part of our uh, health and hygiene uh, curriculum here at school is, in, is teaching students that to regularly wash their hands. So in each of the canteens, we have hand washing areas as well as on each floor with hand sanitizer. So before and after each meal, students are encouraged to wash their hands. In every common area at our school, we will have a hand sanitizer station with instructions of how to use it, as well as our fire alarm system, which is in every building, in every area in our school. Welcome to the ECA office. In the ECA office, this is where we organize and execute all activities which happen outside of the curriculum area. This is our area for sports and after school activities. Ms. Tam here is in charge of child protection, as well as health and safety. In this area here, we have procurement and where all of our trips and excursions are booked and uh, planned out. And finally, these two young ladies, they will do all of the ASA buses and changes each day. Okay, welcome to our auxiliary services department. This is the department that takes care of all of the school transportation. In here, we have eight staff members and Ms. Tan, who is the head of the department. In this office, we run over 80 buses, 80 drivers, and 70 bus guardians. Each and every year, uh, the bus drivers and bus guardians will go through first aid training and they will go through proper maintenance and training for uh, driving their buses. Um, in here, we will also do all of the maintenance records for the buses. So each bus will go through regular checks 
of the tires, of the systems on the bus, the engines, to make sure that they are in good working order. On each and every bus, we have two cameras, one that faces the front of the bus and the, uh, the traffic which is in front. One camera which uh, points to all the students on the bus as part of our child protection policy and as part of our general health and safety. This is the rest area for all of our drivers. So we give them opportunity, opportunity to rest and also relax throughout the day have a coffee. Also, of course, in every area, we have emergency phone. This is the Eagle shop where parents can buy school uniform, AISVN branded goods, stationery, basically take a look around when they are preparing their children to come and join our community. Welcome to our Eagle Cafe. This is a place for our community, students, parents and prospective families to come and have a traditional Vietnamese coffee, um, a juice or a smoothie and also a selection of uh, pastries. It's new this year at AISVN and it really is a favourite place for students and teachers. At AISVN we have the material that is for the, our server, we have uh, for the physical server, we have the software to manage, to support the academic and we have the data infrastructure to support, uh, to store the data. And for the support the teacher, we are, going, we are using the help the system to support the student and for the teacher and for the staff, if they, can, if they would like to uh, request to have the support from the IT. And for the server, we are using cluster server to support to make sure our server is no calm down and we are using the firewall to support the student for security reason. Also for the student email, we are, for security reason, the student email we are using only from grade one to 12, but for grade one, we just only allow student to use, to access only, to send email inside the domain only because like they are too young to understand about what they are going to use. The IT infrastructure, we have IT manager to support, to cover all the IT. We have IT support to support the teacher and student in the classroom. And we have the network technician that is they are professional with the network infrastructure to support to the whole school.